What's going on, Capricorn? It's looking like you need to brace yourself for an unexpected blast from your past, family. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, fixed sign person. That family, quite frankly, there was a falling out between the two of you. I'm not quite sure this was romantic, though. I feel like this is a non-romantic person, though it it possibly could be. be I, I feel like it's non-romantic, though. That there was a falling out and something was very traumatic, dramatic. And now this person is wanting to pop back up, Capricorn. Drop this person's sign down below. Welcome and welcome back, family, to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe for more of my daily Capricorn readings. Let me know where you are watching from. Drop your flags down below. Shout out to everybody in Michigan. And again, drop this person's sign. You see, again, the fixed signs. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, lots of Earth. And then it's also the repeating numbers, the five of fire, the five of Earth, the four of water, the four of air. Drop the repeating numbers you've been seeing also, family. And notice how And both of the fours here, when we're looking at stability, restabilizing after a situation, a falling out, uh, a very heated situation, notice how somebody's seeking therapy or trying to heal, get themselves together. I mean, traumatized by a situation. And then we see here somebody just being hurt and in their feelings and just not communicating. Capricorn, who is this person that you fell out with and while you were trying to heal and get better, make a situation better? I feel like with and then without this person, they just wanted to not address issues. And it almost makes me feel like before we got to the point of silence, um, things may have been a little, a lot passive aggressive. Weird. Gives the weird energy. And not only that, we see somebody being high in the drama, very low in maturity when it comes to mentally. Somebody was mentally stunted, liking a lot of drama, very immature, having possibly even a very negative and or childish mindset. And not only that, when I look at this page of swords, I always see these stone like angels behind them. And it makes me feel like not only is the person immature, but they're also somebody who needs the support of others to do things. So they may run their little mouths to other people, but they may not say anything directly to you. And you're just getting, like I said, the weird energy. That weird energy blew up into something else. And then there's the betrayal factor. So we're talking about a high drama <laughs> falling out here and the rug completely being pulled out from underneath the back. Who? Capricorn, get out of here. Capricorn, if this person was jealous of you and that's why you fell out with this individual, please drop the eight, the number eight or the eight ball emoji down in the chat in the comment section, please. There was a jealousy factor when it came to this falling out, when it came to this entire situation. I feel like some of you may have known that now because here's the deal. Both of you let the situation go. And I feel like there's a part of one of the parties here because this energy could be vice versa. 
that was thinking that the end of this would not actually be the end of this. That if they just didn't speak, you, you would come back. That is so weird about um, these people that are coming back this time specifically. Because this isn't the only person, if you are a subscriber over here and you check out the multiple readings that I drop. Um, these people that are coming back, it's the ego for me. Like, if I just don't talk to you, you'll come back to me. I'll be able to get you to do what I want you to do. Capricorn, these people that you cut out of your life with this <laughs> spirit of control, there's this need to come back to you now. And that's the thing about people that are very manipulative. They need you more than you need them. Somebody is figuring that out. I mean, that's why they're reaching out to you out of the blue. Because you were supposed to be reaching out to them. Not so out of the blue, you know, not so unexpectedly. But the fact that you stayed away while this person was trying to control you with their silence by ending things. And you took that opportunity to really start a new beginning. Changing your mentality. And here's the thing, letting the feelings go. I feel like there's still a part of you that appreciates certain things about this person. But even when they come with an apology, and I feel like it's very heartfelt when this person comes back. I also feel like this person tries to reach out over the internet or like texting. I feel like they write you this heartfelt thing. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. This is. <coughs> Some of you are very reluctant to respond. I'm going to tell you this. This person, toxic and controlling as they are, is going to apologize. They're about to apologize for all this. They're about to address this not speaking, communicating thing. They're, they're about to make it very clear and plain. Who's family? Who's this? The Leo. Mm -hmm. Every time I see these eights, well, it's not an eight, this infinity symbol, it screams the repeating cycles. As I just said a moment ago, these manipulative people need you more than you need them. They just want you to think that you need them. That That's what makes them feel that, that that's what gets them going. This person has, you think it's out of the out of the blue and weird. They do too. It's taken all the courage that they have to reach back out to you and give you this apology. Somebody is wanting to start over. And they are definitely wanting to rekindle this situation with you. This person is definitely wanting to start over, family. They want to try again. And here's the thing. They know that you're very fair. They also feel like, you know, a lot of enough time has passed. But what really stands out to me, and you, yeah, you, you can see it, are these two cups being held at arm's length from each other? Okay, and the multiple little butterflies here. Capricorns that are still here. Who's this Scorpio Sag Cusper, Sagittarius energy? But who is this person that has had with all those butterflies many falling outs, many endings with other people before they came back to you?
and this person is starting to realize they may have a problem. I don't want to say they are the problem because it, it take when it takes two people because you know if there's this big falling out like this, you were entertaining their drama to some extent, right? <clears throat> Until it turned around on you. They're seeing that that there's a pattern here, but also know this. They have other situations and relationships have ended and now this person is hitting you up out of the blue. And that is because you have a history together. They are banking on the history that you guys have to help convince you that, you know, you should, you know, rekindle this relationship with them. But here's the deal. The history also includes this person doing things behind your back. Hmm. And we see that even here with the Six of Cups is these, we see these happy little memories down here, but it's these dark clouds rolling in. This person was always shady and another four. We had the four of what? It was the four of air, the four of pentacles, and the four of cups. If somebody would drop the meaning of 444 down below, you would be the real VIP. There's always been a history of this person being shady. And I feel like that's not just with you. That's not just with you. Shady and very messy in the way that they talk and the way that they conduct themselves. I also, I, why do I also feel this person is just like a messy person in general? And when I look at this card, I don't think it's somebody just being messy and not necessarily, and not just being messy. I feel like somebody who doesn't present themselves well, like they don't necessarily care about how they look. They don't think they have bad manners because it's the bad manners with the shoes in the house all on the rug. Bad manners, walking in your house with shoes, not washing their hands, not covering their mouth when they cough. There's other things about this person that are red, that are red flags. I feel the temper tantrums. I feel like this person is also very attractive. And then there's this jealousy factor. So they were competing with you. It's nice for this person to come around and want to rekindle the situation and address certain things and talk about, you know, why you weren't speaking and how they've been missing you and blah, blah, blah. You know, you were their person. We see the, you know, the little constellation up here given the soulmates, but you know how I feel about those over here. Mm. Crooked eye, crooked eye. Don't. Um, but they've always been messy and competing with you. It's always been a problem. And it's the temper for me. Is the back and forth, the temper, and the fact that and the fact that you can't trust what this person is saying when, when you're not around. You can't trust what this person is doing behind your back. Notice how all these people have their hands behind their backs. This king of swords here, speaking to somebody being, being a liar. Notice the two of swords above this person said they've been cut off, and that's why they're 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 here. Yikes. Remember all those little butterflies on that temperance. They've been away burning bridges. They've been away burning bridges with who they thought were their better other options here. They've had a lot of soulmates, besties, whatever the situation is. But because they're extremely untrustworthy, because, and notice how this person is outside in the streets, because they need a lot of external validation, a lot of words given to them to fuel their flames. I feel like a lot of delusion, a lot of ego stuff here. That is why they're back. Notice how we have this death card here, water, and this air energy here with the, or excuse me, the water energy here with the more, that Scorpio vibe, air. Who is the Libra Scorpio Cusper? 
that you can't trust, always been shady, can, cannot trust what is going on behind your back, what they're saying. Again, they're competing with you. And they're in, deeply insecure here. And that's why you had to separate yourself. And I feel like that's why some of you are still separating yourselves. Notice how the fours, we've seen all of them now. We've seen everything but the emperor. And the fours minus... The four of pentacles. Everyone is laying down. Capricorn, everybody else has laid their relationship to rest with this person due to their behaviors. <coughs> Excuse me. They are hoping that you will give them another opportunity. Remember, look at the fours here. I'm about to pull them all right now because we have them all here. Boom. And, and where we started. Excuse me. The only fours, excuse me, the only four where they are standing up. And notice how somebody is standing up for this shady person is the earth card. Everybody else is done. They have no words. They have nothing left to say. Everybody's done. When I tell you, Capricorn, that you need to know that this person is back because you are the only person that stood up for them. You were the only person that really had their back. You were the only person, okay, they could really count on. And they know that they're very high risk. Let me tell you this, and look at that. Just like we saw in that king of air, crooked arm behind the back. You still can't trust this person. They know that. Repeating sixes now, the lovers, the six of earth, the six of water. They know that they're still untrustworthy. They're remorseful right now, but when given the opportunity, they will do the same thing again. They just had this, I don't want to call it a competitive nature. It's insecurity. It's an insecurity thing where they have to constantly compare themselves. That has not gone away. But what they don't have is any type of friendship, companionship. Again, I told you that soulmate energy. They have no one. This person cannot stand to be alone. And they would rather have a secret relationship. <laughs> and why do I feel like it's secret? Because somebody doesn't want to be seen with them. Or this, this person knows that they can't be seen with you because of the things that they've said. And they've burned so many bridges. They don't want you to know. Yeah. They're willing to even do this in secret. Because they have no one else. They have no one else. And not only that, you seem to be doing very good. This continuing to come up in all the readings. Again, like, share, and subscribe. You are doing very well. You seem happy. They want a piece of that. This is one of those energy vampire type of things. And that's that high drama. The, the, this person has not changed. They understand that there's a problem, but they have not addressed, they've not directly addressed and eradicated the situation, the problem. You would still be battling this if you were to allow this person back in. And he, this person sees you as stable and having a high moral compass. That's also part of the reason why this person feels comfortable trying to come back and reaching out in an effort to break the silence. But Capricorn, quite, 
quite frankly, I feel like, ooh, and the repeating numbers, some of y'all are, are busy. There is a Capricorn that is not trying to bail this person out, that y'all are too busy, too focused to allow this person back in. So, some of y'all know. They want a piece of the stability. They want a piece of the stability, and I also feel like somebody wants a part of what it is that you are doing and have going on. Capricorn, drop this person's sign down below. Let me know what resonated. Like, share, subscribe. Find me on Instagram. All of my links are down below in the description box. And Capricorn, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.